I'm gonna take a minute to talk about kayak care to you. Now, I am the world's worst. I mean, like I am like totally absent-minded when it comes to taking care of my gear. My gear, because you know, my boat stays on top of a truck most of the time. You know, it gets washed about every time it either hits the river or hits gets rained on. So I tend to not worry about my boat too much. Now, my bride stuff, dude, that is totally different. This is her baby. This is the, uh, uh, she calls it cotton candy chaos. I call it unicorn fart. But this is her custom Liska. Uh, and it was the last custom that we bought from Jackson. And, you know, it was painstakingly put together by their design team to make sure that she got the boat that she wanted and she loves this boat so i'm going to do my best to make sure this one stays looking good for as long as she's going to be able to paddle it so the one thing that i, I want to talk to you about this is this 303 protectant now this is aerospace protectant so i guess if you want to take your kayak you know uh, uh into space you're good too but this is the only thing that i'm aware of that that is recommended for carrying for on a kayak now some folks just soap and water some folks neglect like me uh, the ones that take care of it, this is a UV protectant. It's going to bring some color back up on it. It's going to help protect it from the sun. Now, for the longest time, we didn't have a boathouse. We just had this built last week, so I'll be able to keep them indoors now. But, I mean, for the longest time, they stayed out on the trailer or, or on a rack or something like that. Um, unfortunately, on the ground sometimes, but, you know, out out of the way because it, they're in the yard. I mean, I, I'm like you guys. I don't, I don't own you know, thousands of acres and, you know, the boathouse is new to us. We had to work for years to get it, so I'm thankful for it. But it is to protect our gear, both the big boat and the little boats, and, and, and put the fishing gear, stuff like that in. So I wanted to talk about this. I wanted, you know, all of us got to take care of our gear. I mean, I, I need to learn to take better care of my gear. But this stuff does the trick. Now, one warning, whatever you put this on, it'll be slick as, you know, Vaseline on a nanner peel. So watch yourself. You know, if you put it on any area that you stand other than your mats or whatever, just make sure it doesn't make it too slick on you. But all I'm going to do is squirt it on here and then wipe it down, wipe it off. So. You can see she initially shining like a brand new dime, but it definitely brought the color back up in it. It gave it a good gloss, good shine, and it's gonna help protect it from the UV rays. So get yourself, I think this was $27 for the big jug. I've got a smaller bottle. It's the same thing that I use on my zippers for the uh, uh, watershed bags that I use. You know, you gotta use that to protect those zippers and make them slide. This is the same stuff. So very good for this type of gear. Very good for your kayak. Y'all take care of your stuff. I'll try to do a better job of taking care of my stuff. You know, it'll keep the bride happy, I promise you. Y'all take it easy. I hope this helps. We'll give you a little bit of bonus footage. Just to, my truck, mine that's on top of the truck. And I cannot tell you, you know, I can't tell how good that's going to come up on the camera, but on a set of polarized shades, that made a world of difference. Just in that one little section of the boat. I mean, that's that cleaned up a scum line. That brought out color. Uh, you know, it's put a little new life in her. So I'll do the whole boat when I get the opportunity.